like that type of conversation with my mother, my real mother, that would be like emotional. That would be, I wouldn't say high risk, but that would be my first time trying to understand her face to face instead of understanding her from a far distance and not blaming her for what she did or this and that A to Z. But um, I totally forgive her because as I grown up and since I had my child um, and she's five, I went through stuff and I know for sure that if my daughter was to even see my whole life like this video, she will understand like, okay, my dad really was trying and, and forget what the mother was saying, my mom was saying, you know, this the truth. I get it. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if you could give any message to your biological mom, if she were to happen to somehow come across this video, mm -hmm. what message do you have for her? Um, What's up, YouTube? Become a member of the channel. Click the join button. You're going to get access to exclusive content, more updates, post-interview reactions, and the lost tapes that never made it to YouTube. Click the join button, become part of the family. Now back to the content. What's up YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews out here with another one. Um, so we got we got my man out here today. How you doing today, man? Pretty good, pretty good. All right, all right. Um, so are you homeless? Yes, sir. Okay, um, how old are you? Uh, currently 24. 24. Mm -hmm. And so how long have you been homeless? Um, I'll say about for two years. Two years, mm -hmm. okay. Are we talking about off and on two years, or are we talking about two years straight through? Uh, a little bit of both, a little bit of both. Okay, so I mean, when was the last time you had like a roof over your head? Uh, I say, um, when I, yeah, when I lived with my mom like two years ago. Two, two years, years ago? ago. Okay. Yes, um, so what was it that happened two years ago that caused you to go from, you know, having a roof over your head to not having a roof over your head? To be honest, I was talking to, uh, I was talking to kids, and I'm glad you brought that question up. Um, I was telling them like when I first started talking to them, I'm like, listen to your mother and anything that you know that you can give to her, basically like, like give the information to her, but allow her to say what she want to say. So she won't feel like she's not doing her job as a mother or a parent. So that's my biggest, uh, eye opener for us living with my mother, like. Basically, when I started feeling like it was all my decision, my decision, my decision, I got it on my own, got it on my own, got it on my own. God showed me like, well, shit, if you got it on your own, here's the road, here's the path, let's see if you can do it yourself. Not saying lately that I've been down a, a wrong, a discouraged path, but it been rough, it been, it been rocky, but at the end of the day, uh, I can say there's God, and like even my mother, she uh, still encouraged me now, like, you know all those talks that I was having with you. That's all I was just telling you. And so I mean, I I, I get all that, but mm -hmm. I mean, one night you had a roof over your head. The other night, you, the next night you didn't. Mm -hmm. What what happened in those twenty four hours? I had to live. I had to survive. Did y'all get to, an argument? Or? Yeah, yeah. It, it was like a yeah a verbal argument. Yeah. Okay, so y'all mm -hmm. got into it, and did did you get kicked out, or did you just leave, or how did that work? Um, it was a little bit of uh, getting kicked out and then mostly me thinking that I'm a man on my own without my mother. I left on my own and when I left on my own and she saw that I left, she like, oh, you can do it by yourself? You, know, you can't come back. So that's what I've been dealing with. Okay, okay. Um, do you got any kids? Yeah, two kids. Okay. Five-year-old and uh, a three-month-year-old. Three-month-old? Mm -hmm. So that was while you was in this uh, homeless journey? Yes. Okay. Um, yes. I mean... Does the does the young lady does she have housing or whatever? Uh, I'm pretty sure yes. Mm -hmm. You're not you're not 100. Well, I'm sure? not saying I'm, I don't know for sure, but uh, recently um, we stopped talking, so I don't know like her location or anything. But why'd y'all stop talking? Um, basically, uh, she thought that I knew it all, and then when I when I was just putting on game about life skills and, and how a woman should carry herself, she felt like I was trying to play on her. So. That, that I mean, was, what was going on? Like, what do you mean as far as, like, how a woman should carry herself? You know, um, well, so I have a five-year-old, 
uh, I would want my daughter to carry herself as an actual woman, not somebody that got to be taught to be a woman. Like, like I wouldn't say taught to be a woman, but like to elaborate it more. Um, basically, the things that you think on your own, don't overthink it or underthink it. If you have questions, ask questions, but don't be out here doing stuff that will you you will you will regret. You know what I'm saying? For as well, how, I mean, g give me an example. What was what what happened to where? What happened that made you guys stop talking? Okay, um, it was an example of like uh, like the job. So I'm staying with her, and uh, we both had to get a job in order to pay like the ninety nine dollar rent or whatever like that. So um, when we finally got a job, so happened that when we first got the job and we working. They didn't like that we worked at the job together. So boom, we both went through not having jobs. That created an argument. Then it was just Well, like, I mean, did one of y'all stay at the job? Uh, because yeah. you say you say they didn't like the fact that both of y'all was working at the job and y'all was together, right? Well, they hated on us so, to be honest, they hated on us so bad that they, they terminated both of us because they found out that we was uh, in a relationship. But we both was already in a relationship before getting the job. And they, they knew that. It's just, I don't know what happened between the lines or whatever like that. I mean, that. what kind of job was this? It was a restaurant job. She was a host and I was the uh, busser uh, slash dishwasher. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Um, and, and so I guess you guys was at like a rooming house type deal? Nah, she had her own, she had her own apartment. She had her own apartment. Well, you said $99 rent. She had help with assistance. <laughs> <laughs> so she had, she, she had Section 8 basically? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. So she still lives there then? I I hope so. I don't know if she transitioned from Section 8 to her own housing for us rent. But last time we spoke, uh, she she was in the, uh, the housing program. Okay, okay. Um, and you say that the baby's three months old? Yes, sir. Okay, when's last two, time? Two different baby mamas. Yep, yep, yep. Um, when's the last time you saw the, the three month old? Uh, recently, uh, yesterday, yesterday. Okay, Not so physically, but uh, over the phone. Okay, over mm -hmm. like, okay, social I get media. It. I get it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. And last um, time so I seen my uh, five-year-old daughter, I was in Baton Rouge. I just seen her about um, uh, like a week or t a week and a half, or maybe two weeks ago. So you was in Baton Rouge just a week, a week ago. Not even ago. a week ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, what made you come here to Atlanta? Well, you know. I always had dreams and then when it comes to dreams people always like don't follow them so I'm one of the, the friends of anybody that knows me from New Orleans uh, Atlanta anywhere that I've been in Baton Rouge you know I'm one of those people that follows my dreams it don't matter if it's going rocky road or if it's going good I still follow my dreams so what made me come back to Atlanta this time after leaving uh, last year for six months I was out here and I'm like you know what I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do. Not saying it was bad or, 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 or violent or anything, but I wasn't focused. I wasn't focused on my goal. What is your goal? My goal is to have a house of my own, to uh, get back in tune with my daughter and my uh, my second daughter, to get back in tune with my mother so she understands that I was trying and actually trying to do this stuff the whole time instead of just looking like it was just, you know, I'm sweeping stuff under the rug, not worrying about it. And um, so okay, so let's let let's let's start from the beginning. So where are you from? New Orleans. Hey man, shout out New Orleans, <laughs> man. They know on this channel, I love New Orleans. I actually did a few videos out there, man. So I'm um, definitely man, salute and shout out to New Orleans. Um, all right, and so growing up in New Orleans, um, did you have both your mom and your dad in the household? Yes, I did. I'm actually adopted by my uh my my cousin. So she took care of me since I was eight months, and um. Okay. Uh, took care of my uh, my my old well not my oldest brother but um, one of my brothers right and um ever since then it's just been gravy you know and um basically like I'm saying she just she don't feel like she didn't do her job the whole way she just feel like well why didn't y'all listen to me about this and that and this and that the whole route instead of taking your own route that's all she feel unaccomplished as but so you and your brother kind of didn't listen type deal. Well, I'm the one that listen because I'm the baby, but like I, I came out to be good. I came out to be good. I just had my fair share of like temper tantrums and stuff like that. That's what caused me. So, I mean, growing up, would you say you had a fairly normal childhood? 
Yeah, yeah, I was okay. very blessed. I was very blessed. Um, you went to high school? Graduated high school right. two years right. early. Any college? Uh, I went to some college. I went to Delgado uh, Community College for business management. So wait, you say you graduated two years early? Yes, sir. Was that due to you being academically gifted? Um, when I got when I got focused. When I got well, focused. I mean, why'd you graduate two years early? I went to a school called uh, the Net Charter. The Net Charter. Um, charter school. I get it. Charter I get school, it. So yeah. mm -hmm. they can run your credits up a little bit quicker. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. I got it. I got it. Okay. Um. And so, you know, did a little bit of community college. Was that right after high school or was that a yeah, gap it was in between? It was about a little gap. It was about, I'll say six months, maybe okay. seven months. Okay, after, and then uh, went to community. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Um, and so, I mean, so, <laughs> you know, so I guess that's your mom that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. um, and why, so why is it that, okay, I get that you guys got into an argument. Mm -hmm. Seemed like a pretty fair mannered guy. Why is it that you couldn't just kind of forgive each other and you you move back in? Honestly, to be honest, that's a question I asked for my mother and everybody that knows me. Like, why you just don't go back with your mother? But I'm 24. She taught me like not everything I know, but she taught me enough to know how to survive on my own. I also was in like the young Marines too as well, so I have those type of skills. Um, just about surviving like before I was homeless. I knew how to survive on the street and um, God just had his fair share trying to show me lessons and Now that I learned my lesson, I'm uh, I'm actually learning from it Well, I mean and so if you've learned your lesson mm -hmm. Why can't you go back regroup that'll be easier than trying to You know regroup and do things, you know as a homeless person in other words, you have a stable address, stable place to eat and shower every day, mm -hmm. um, and to put whatever plan you have in motion. Mm -hmm. um, why, why isn't that an option? I'm not sure, honestly. I'm not sure, honestly. That's one question I can't answer because that's for my mother. Like, I asked all the like, we had a recent uh, conversation. I'm like, um, this girl was like, why you just don't go stay back with your mom? I got on the phone with her. I'm like, this girl that I was talking to, my asked me why I can't stay back with you. She like, that's not happening. You know, like my mom, she's, uh, to, to put it out there, she's 52, about to be 53. She helped everybody that she could. She a CNA. And uh, the talks that we have now is just like, she just tired of not getting back that what she received, even though she's still out there for everybody. And me being one of the people that kind of disobedient, not fully disobedient, she just like, she not giving up on me or gave up on me. She just trying to show me the ropes of tough love and I can do it myself. Well, and, and I totally get that. Um, I guess, I guess the advice I would give you is maybe approach her with a plan. So maybe say, okay, this is my plan is to go to this school or learn this trade or do this or do that. It's going to take me a year and a half. This is the time period I'm going to be here. This is how much I'm going to give you because I'm going to be working this whatever part-time job or whatever. And so, you know, I have a plan, but I really need you to say yes in order for me to be able to execute it. That'll be a hard yes. <laughs> that would be the hard yes. So, I mean, if, if, if she would have happened to see this video on YouTube, right, mm -hmm. what do you think her thoughts and her reactions would be? He's trying uh, and he's not giving up. That's what I could say. Okay. So, I mean, if if you could give any message to her, she's not here to rebut anything, mm -hmm. right? If you could give any message to her, man, um, what what message would you give to her? Uh, when somebody's uh, going through something and uh, fully understanding the need to be there without trying to feel like you figured out their life already for them, and basically just give them as many chances as you can if they trying to help their self. Because uh, if I was one of these people like out here not trying to help myself, not trying to better myself, I have two daughters, not trying to do for my daughters, stuff like that, then I would fully understand of why I can't go back with my mother. But I understand at this moment of why I can't go because of the circumstances that happened. So I mean, 
Ask her right now. <laughs> uh, ask her what? Can you come back? Would I be able to come back? <laughs> it's hard. That's hard to believe, man. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes we laugh to keep from crying. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Sometimes yeah, we laugh yeah, to keep yeah, from crying. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah. do you think that? Do you think that? What What age were you when you got the knowledge that you was adopted? Oh. Uh, uh, if I can remember, I say like eight or nine, maybe. And so, do you think that? that played into uh, some of, of the behavior issues or whatever that you may have had? No, no, I don't say that because um, if it wasn't for her adopting me and how, how special it is, uh, she she only got asked from her mother that was on her deathbed, like, can you take care of Joshua and the- uh, Well, the well what, what happened to your mom? Well, my mom fell to drugs and uh, that's all she wrote, really, to be honest. And I never spoke to her or seen her ever since, so. Yeah. Is she still living? Yeah, she's still living. Mm -hmm. um, do you have any desire to meet her, talk to her, anything like that? To be honest, I'm the young, I'm the young, I'm the baby of the family. A lot of stuff, like that type of conversation with my mother, my real mother, that would be like emotional, that would be I wouldn't say high risk, but that would be my first time trying to understand her face to face instead of understanding her from a far distance and not blaming her for what she did or this and that, A to Z. But um, I totally forgive her because as I grown up and since I had my child um, and she's five, I went through stuff and I know for sure that if my daughter was to even see my whole life like this video she will understand like, okay, my dad really was trying and, and forget what the mother was saying, my mom was saying, you know, this the truth. I get it. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if you could give any message to your biological mom, if she were to happen to somehow come across this video, mm -hmm. what message do you have for her? Um. Well, it's four of us, so the challenge that's been brought upon you, uh, don't give up and um, try again. Is she still on drugs? That's, I wouldn't even know. I wouldn't even know. For, for my last understanding, she's been getting help, though. But like recently, uh, I don't know if she touched back on drugs. I don't know if she, uh, it Stay could definitely clean. be a lifelong battle. A lifelong yeah, 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 battle, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like myself, like I um, I don't share with everybody, but uh, they say I deal with mental health. But um, I'm I feel like I'm very intelligent. I feel like I can be a mogul one what day. What mental health diagnosis uh do, do you have? Um, they say I deal with schizophrenia, anxiety, and depression. But uh, most what of age? it is just. What age was that diagnosed? This recently. This recently. Recently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh. Have they put you on any meds or anything like that? Yeah, I take a, uh, I take a, uh, a shot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, any drug use? Any drug issues or anything like that? I mean, besides you know marijuana and alcohol. Nah. Um, I, any um, harder drugs? Nah, I never felt felt to need to mess with any hard drugs or I don't even know the difference between crack or coke. And my mother was on one of them, so you know what I'm saying. So I, I get don't it. deal with it. <laughs> I get it. I get it. <laughs> All right, man. Well, listen, man. Um, I mean, at this point, so what are we doing to try to get ourselves out of this position of being homeless right now? Uh, stay focused. Stay focused for sure. And the plan that I thought I had, the plan that is set for me now, just follow through it and see the progress, see the outcomes. And not maybe, but one day, I will see all that my progress made and I'll be happy for it. My hey, people to be happy for it. Absolutely. My friends would be happy for it. And that that that's the best congratulations I can get. Hey, man, for put me one, doing one it myself. Put in front of the other, man. That's how this thing works for sure. 
All right, man. So listen, if anybody out there wanted to reach out, help, or donate, do you have a way they could do that? Do you have social media, cash app, anything like that? Uh, yeah, I have a um, I have a cash app. Um, what you got? My cash app is uh, um, one second. It's uh, wavy dot com J. Spell that for us. W a v e y, d o t. C O M, the letter J. Okay, that's mm -hmm. what's up, man. Any social media? Uh, I have a social media. I have an Instagram, um, Wavy World. Uh, w A V E Y W R L D. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, man. We really appreciate you taking the time, answering all of our questions, and we definitely wish you nothing but the best out here. All right. I appreciate it. My guy. Make mm -hmm. sure you have a good one, now. All righty.